number one is Ashwell Boy at 25 to 1, the mount of Graham McCourt. Beakstown down to 14 to 1 now, Tom Tracy's mount. Brave Patriot trades at 66 to 1 with Brendan Powell, and the blinkered Call Equinome is 10 to 1, partnered by the season's leading rider, Tony McCoy. Castle Sweep, the 7 to 2 favourite at the moment, is written by Peter Niven, and the possible front running Garolo, 12 to 1, Graham Bradley. The Visor Green Crusader is a rank outsider at 100 to 1 for Richard Guest. In defence, 25 to 1, Warren Marston. Kim and Nicky, 5 to 1, Mick Fitzgerald's mount. Le Kumpf, 100 to 1, Rodney Farron rides that. Master Bevel, 20 to 1, is ridden by Jamie Osborne. Miroswaki, 25 to 1, by Shane Ryan. Mr. Bureaucrat, 25 to 1, David Bridgewater. Mulligan, 50 to 1, and Conor O'Dwyer. Past Master is 66 to 1, Brendan Sheridan on board. And Porfirios, 66 to 1, and Simon McNeil. Potentate, another possible front runner at 33 to 1, is ridden by Jonathan Lur. Robert's Toy, 50 to 1, Jamie Evans. River Hornish, 20 to 1, Luke Harvey. Rai Fontaine, 25 to 1, ridden by Charlie Swan. Safe Glide is 200 to 1, that's ridden by Philip Hyde. Shankar doesn't take part. Speedwell Prince does at 20 to 1 with Carl Llewellyn. It'll be a wonder if Wixo Wonder wins at 200 to 1, Paul Holly rides. Dance Beat, 6 to 1, is ridden by Richard Dunwoody. Three more, Silver Shred, 100 to 1, Owen Burrows. Salatium, 100 to 1, Chris Maud. Streaky Hawk, 200 to 1. John McLaughlin. Weep is still favourite to sweep the opposition aside. Seven to two. At six to one, then Kimaniki and Dance Beat. Showing at tens is Call Equinome. Now there's a market move for Beakstown, who began at 14 to one, but has tumbled down to 10 to one. At 12s, then Garolo. 20s, Master Beveled and Rubber Hoonish. 25s, Bar. Marauders and they're away. So at seven to two, the favourite Castle Sweep is the. Early favourite for this, the opening race on Festival Day, and it's the Citroën Supreme Novices Hurdle, and they're at the first of eight flights now, which the leaders take safely, but on the outside, we've lost Beakstown, and uh, they've, uh, that's a four row at the first. Tom Tracy's on his feet. Come down towards the second, and it's Dance Beat up with the pace. Dance Beat and Garolo, who forced the early pace. Out wide, they're showing prominently is Master Beveled. Widest of all is Brave Patriarch. In behind leaders uh, comes Potentate as they come down towards the second flight of hurdles. Through on the inside, in defence, taking closer order. Garolo, though, in the pink and grey leads. Garolo, the leader, from in defence, and out wide, Brave Patriarch in the air together. Dance Beat touches down and fourth at the back of the pack Green Crusader makes a mistake but they come up past the pack stands with the early pace now within defence in defence and Garolo then in third place Dance Beat then we have Luke Kung from Master Beveled shown prominently Brave Pytrach on the wide outside through on the inside Robert's Toy and with that one is Potentate a length behind these comes Kim and Nicky and Mr Bureaucrat and Call Equinome can front run hasn't got to the front yet Mulligan is racing midfield Silver Schwedt's towards the back so too is Safe Glass out the back and also at this stage River Hoonish in company with Ashwell Boy. Running on down the far side then and in defence towards the inside of Garolo. Uh, Kimaniki is handy on the near side in about sixth place on the inside Mick Fitzgerald. Dance Beat is right up there as well. The favourite Castle Sweep now making a move towards the middle of the pack in the blue jacket having been poorly placed early on. They head towards the fourth then and it's in defence in the yellow cap joined by Garolo with Dance Beat the Irish Mayor towards the outside. Robert's Toy chases these from Master Beveled and then Lacoon from Potentate nipping up the inside now with a white face in the red and yellow colours is Speedwell Prince. These are followed by Mr. Bureaucrat as they approach another flight. Good jump by Dance Beat on the outside. Rubber Hoonish made a terrible mistake well back in the field as they begin to climb on the far side in defence with Garolo. These two going head and head. Dance Beat is third towards the outside. They're followed then by Le Kumpf and Robert's Toy. Speedwell Prince just niggled a bit towards the inside. Still on the inner is Kim and Nicky now uh, dropped back to about eighth place but still well enough place as they jump the fifth at which Garolo was practically down a terrible mistake by Garolo and this is left in defence in front from Dance Beat as they reach the top of the hill Garolo has survived in third place then Speed World Prince behind these Roberts Toy Lacoon potentate the inside and Castle Sweep in about seventh place as they reach the top of the hill and just behind Castle Sweep is Kim and Nicky who just chopped the room at the top of the hill they begin the descent black and yellow colours in defence with the nose band is Dance Beat the Irish Raider Garolo behind these then we have Le 
home to the favourite castle sweep in the blue with the white stripe sleeves in about fourth place and closing. Up on the outside of the pack is called Equinaim, and uh, the faller there was Robert's toy. Continuing the descent down towards the second last, Brave Patriarch has been pulled up. It's black and yellow, and it's in defence that has the edge. Dance speed under pressure. Here comes the favourite castle sweep in blue, closing in third. Kim and Nicky in the white and red sleeves is in fourth. Behind that one, Speedwell Prince racing five, but they're going to have to go to catch this one in front, and that's in defence under Warren Marston, who leads in the Citroën Supreme Novices hurdle as they make the final turn, but the favourite's after him, and that's Castle Sweep in second, Dance Speed on the outside is third, Kim and Nicky in four, then comes a Speedwell Prince and Ashwell Boy. This is the final flight, and in defence makes a terrible mistake at it, but so too does Castle Sweep, and also a staying on very determinedly up the hill is Kim and Nicky, but it's in defence, and in defence for the Jenny Pippen team and Warren Marston, who have made virtually all the running here and stormy up towards the line. It's going to go to in defence, cleared by six to eight. At the post, in defence takes it. In defence is the winner, Kim and Nicky. It's going to hold on for second place with Castle Sweep powering home in third. And then we have Speedwell Prince four, Ashwell Boy dance beat, then came Silver Shred, who cut through the pack late, and then Mr. Hunnigan followed through by uh, Miraswaki, who was always midfield. And after that one, uh, we have Green Crusader in the field, trail back to. Streaky Hawk, who was probably the last to finish and also saved Clyde, went out the back. And so the result then of this, the Citroen Supreme novices hurdle, it's a win for number eight on the car. That's in defence, in the colours of In-Depth Limited. This one uh, trained by Jenny Pittman and ridden by Warren Marston, his 39th winner of the season, Warren Marston. Clearly, absolutely delighted at the way in which uh, he's landed his first Cheltenham hurdle winner. The fallen jockeys there are on Simon McNeil, looks like, with the Perfurious and Roberts toy and Jamie Evans. Second horse home is number nine, Kim and Nicky. That's in the colours of Mrs. Elaine Baines, trained by Nick Henderson, ridden by Mick Fitzgerald. And the third horse home is number five, is Castle Sweep, in the colours of Cheltenham chairman Lord Vesty, trained by David Nicholson and ridden by Peter Niven. But there is the hero of the hour at 25 to 1 in defence. The first number eight in defence at 25 to 1. Second number nine, Kim and Nicky at 11 to 2. And third number five, Castle Sweep, the 7 to 2 favourite. The non-runner, number 22, Shankar, 27 rand.